Bonjour, I'm Vivian, and welcome to the beautiful Loire Valley of France, home to the world's most spectacular fairy tale castles. It is also the location of my home, a small neo Renaissance chateau which I share with my husband Simon, daughter Isabella, and whenever possible, friends and family. However, this is not our first chateau. For 17 years, we lovingly restored and adored a much larger castle until we decided to downsize. And now we are doing it all again, but this time on a smaller scale. So join us for some chateau fun, chateau life, chateau renovations, chateau travel, chateau food, chateau friends, and chateau love. We've just arrived home. We're really, really tired. Just got back from Egypt. Ben and Chelsea have a big surprise waiting for us. We're coming up into no man's land where there is all sorts of work being done. Can't wait to see what they have to show us. Okay, guys, I'm on my way in. Okay, are you ready? Yes, come. We are setting outside of the magnificent Chateau Malmaison, home of Emperor Napoleon and Empress Josephine. We are here for the weekend of the Imperial Jubilee, or Jubilee Imperial, in the town of Rue Malmaison. Events that are all based around Napoleon and Josephine. Military, marching, and some bands from the period. And there are 800 soldiers, there are 100 uh, cavalry. People in costumes. We've also got dances from the First Empire. So many exciting things to see. We're gonna be showing you some of our upcoming renovations, some of the progress we're making in our own chateau, but here we are in front of this magnificent chateau. is amazing what a massive change so before we give you a big reveal many of you may remember that this was a very dark dingy space on the top floor we stripped off the brown mismatched wallpaper to discover very dirty walls underneath don't worry it's not black mold for those of you that wrote in about that prepared the walls and then we chose a beautiful deep raspberry colored silk effect wallpaper. It's called Trianon by Rash and it actually looks and feels like embroidered silk. In certain lights, it's a pink. In others, it's a red. We also introduce you to our friends, Ben and Chelsea, honeymooners who are house sitting for us while we were away in Egypt. After a very brief wallpaper tutorial, they had never wallpapered before, I agreed to let them try out wallpapering while we were away. It was a bit risky because this is a beautiful, very patterned wallpaper that was going on totally uneven walls. There is not a straight surface in this chateau, but they are so brilliant and switched on. And so within about a half a day, I realized that this room was in very safe hands. And I was especially interested to see what they would do when we got back. But we weren't quite done with our Egyptian adventures. Let's briefly return to the ancient empire. And though I close my eyes, I see la vie As many of you may know, we spent a couple of weeks having the trip of a lifetime in Egypt where we were hosted by the renowned Egyptologist Curtis Ryan Woodside and joined by some lovely friends, some of whom you may know from other YouTube channels. We had exclusive access to some of the world's most historic and ancient monuments and we also rode camels. We had such fun experiencing the Egyptian culture, getting to know Egyptian people, eating extraordinary Egyptian food. And then after five days in Aswan, we then embarked on a very special five-day cruise around Lake Nasser. It was one of the only boats allowed on Lake Nasser, and so we really were alone and again having access to these extraordinary places. Naturally, I made a couple of classic Chateau Love videos to share our experiences with you, and then we did something we've never done before. 
before we did a short film, Agatha Christie style, a murder mystery on an Egyptian boat. Not on the Nile, but close enough, and the boat itself was perfect. It was such a fun way to share our continuing adventures with you, including visiting some very important sites like Abu Simbel, but also our friends got to flex their acting muscles, some better than others, but boy, did we have a great time, but we weren't done yet. No trip to Egypt is complete without a visit to its most iconic site. And you didn't think that we forgot cheese of the week, did you? And now it's time for cheese of the week. We have a very special cheese this week. Does anybody know what it is? Can you guess where the cheese in Egypt comes from? We know, but we, we're not saying. <laughs> time for people to guess. Well, first of all, let's show it. It's, we have these two that are very orangey in color. I'll tell you, the white one is from a cow. The other two, Simon's so excited, he's bursting. He's dying to tell us. Look at his face. What is it? It's camel. It's camel cheese. So we are about to have a camel cheese tasting. I stupidly didn't even think that was camel cheese, which is ridiculous. Because if you can milk camel. an animal, cautiously. Gender. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to start? Well, Curtis, you brought us here. I think, you know, you need to. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, so to give this a go. You want a piece of bread? You want a little bit of okay which is the this is the camel cheese there those are both both of the orange ones are camel cheese one's a soft one and one is a hard one right i'm gonna let, i'm gonna let stephanie try it first so oh then, uh... i see what you've done there. <laughs> oh, clever. it looks a little bit like a cheese spread this is happening <laughs> <laughs> Is that your it's delicious face? Tingles. Does it? Really? Oh. Ah. It's still tingling. Yes, definitely. Okay. Tingles. Definitely mild, Doesn't taste. <laughs> very mild, but then it tingles afterwards. Mm -hmm. Have you got the tingle yet? Yeah. It's spicy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They put some chili in it or something. I, I hope that that's mm. what's happened. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no idea. Why is We've it We've discovered tingling? a new use for camel milk. Spicing wanna, up your curry. Do you want to try? That's really good. Here, okay. you try. I'll try. You try. I've had it before. But you're it right, it tingles. Mm. It tingles. It provides. Yeah. But yeah. it's definitely not a bad flavor. Bad. No. no. It's 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 good. 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 I love it. Okay. You love it? You love it? Does it tingle? Is you get a tingle in your mouth? It's good. Yeah. It's got a little spice. No. Oh no, I have to eat it. What about mummy? You're the Egyptologist, and you're, and you're making sure that everyone gets a bite before you. Do. <laughs> we see what you're doing there, Curtis. I had some of this one yesterday. I like. I like this one. What do you think, Isabel? Mm. <laughs> it's got a little kick to it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Spicy bashkiri. Spicy. Yeah. Yeah. So for those who don't know, bashkiri is a soft cheese in France that we yes, you find the supermarket in little triangles, pre-packaged into lovely little triangles. Beloved by children everywhere. <laughs> do I have to try it? Yes. Yes, yes you do. One. God. The intrepid Egyptologist. <laughs> Does it, Ramses love this. This was literally Ramses' favourite cheese. Yes. Uh, give me some more. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lovely. All right. You don't get off that lightly. Come back. Vivian, come here. Come back. Give me a really big that piece. <laughs> yeah. You're so cheeky, you Curtis. Go. Look at the size of this piece he gave me. Yes. The whole thing. You like goat's cheese. It's very delicate cheese of the week. Hmm. Nice, isn't it? It's delicious. Yeah. Yes. And you got the tingle? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. I actually really love it. I love it. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm in. So, the, the camel cheese. Huh? It's yeah. delicious, yeah. yes. Every day now we get to have camel cheese. Yes! yes. <laughs> it's right behind us over my shoulder you can see the pyramids of Giza. 
And let's get some breakfast. Yes. For those of you that were worried about what we were eating in Egypt, you had nothing to fear. This is breakfast. Fresh figs, fruits, vegetables, beautiful coconut rice pudding, cheeses, all sorts of pastries. Oh, look. Simon's having an omelet made. Yes, omelet. Look, oh, the chef is making yes. an omelet for us over here. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is well special done. For you. <laughs> and they taught me how to say good morning in Arabic. Say good morning in Arabic. Sabah khair. Well done. Here is my beautiful breakfast and the best view in Egypt. Mmm, that's delicious. We are here with our chef today. My name is Mohammed Matarawi. And this is your view every single day. <laughs> Have a best time. It, thank you so Have a best much. Time in Egypt. Thank you, Mohammed. We did. We had the best time ever. Just a few more moments before we head back to France. Some of you wrote in the comments that you were worried about Americans traveling here to Egypt. Let me assure you, this place All is right. full of Americans at the moment. Everywhere I turn, lots and lots and lots of Americans, many of whom are, I would say, over the age of 70. You didn't think that we'd leave Egypt without showing you the most famous sites of all, the pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx. When we get home, we can't wait to see Ben and Chelsea. They've been looking after the house and they said they've got some surprises for us. in front of the Grand Pyramid. Now, do any of you really believe this was put here by aliens? If so, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. It's now back to France and back to work. We want to show all of you our commitment to the vlog. We're here in Cairo and we did a quick swizz in to be able to show you um, the big sites of Cairo, obviously the, the main pyramids and the Sphinx. But what we, what you don't see, but I think maybe you should because we've tried to get a couple of episodes out for you even though we've had absolutely no internet this whole time. Simon has just bought a SIM card. Here we are. We're in the taxi, driving like you wouldn't believe through the streets of Cairo. And look at this. We are uploading the latest video as we race to the airport. Um, we hope we get it out to you in time. <laughs> but anyway, we're really happy that you're joining us. And uh, yeah, go Chateau Love. Well, it's late at night, but we have made it safely back to Paris, to Orly Airport. We're now on our way home, and we're still pinching ourselves from having had the most incredible trip to Egypt. Now, on our way to the Chateau, where we have lots more adventures, lots more work, and lots more fun to have in France. So the year is 1804, it is the height of empire. And this week at the Imperial Jubilee, everything from court life to civilian life to military life is being celebrated. The bit I'm most excited about is seeing all of these Napoleonic uniforms and the soldiers. And if you look to your right, you'll see them all lined up. 
So just behind us is Napoleon's camp. firing cannons into the crowd. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. It's Napoleon's army's come back. I think this is the only place in France where they can fire live ammunition into a big crowd. It's another revolution. This event has been so much fun that I think we might actually have to come back in costume next year. But believe it or not, the best was still yet to come. Walked through this beautiful town, we reached the thing that I was most excited to see, the exhibit of the imperial robes of Empress Josephine, a complete recreation of her royal wardrobe. And each one of these gowns was absolutely spectacular, as well as being incredible inspiration for anyone who would like to create beautiful empire style gowns. Whether you're partial to Jane Austen adventures or something a little bit saucier, Bridgerton style, no day like this would be complete without handsome men and beautiful women dancing together in these spectacular costumes. We're about to go into this beautiful building and see some Empire dancing.
all this empire excitement, did you think we forgot about the wallpaper? Heavens no. While we were in Egypt, Ben and Chelsea were very busy and they did such a beautiful job. Now it's just down to me to finish off this room and make it really special, completely different to the rest of the chateau. When it's finished, I would love for this little bedroom to look like a jewel box and be the room that everyone wants to stay in, despite being the absolute tiniest bedroom in the chateau. great isn't it it all looks like this wallpaper is fantastic it really goes in here yeah. you, you got it look and so you did the arch and you painted the radiators and everything the baseboards as well so this is really so impressive and I can't believe you guys are leaving us because I want you to see the, the finished product. <laughs> but you're going to be on a cruise. Yeah. yeah. We go to Barcelona this afternoon, but we yes. are very sad to leave. But you'll come back. You'll come back and I see us so. as soon as possible. <laughs> and I can't wait to finish all of this. And then, you know, then next time you can choose the Joan of Arc room or this room. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, like guys. Happy, happy honeymoon. <laughs> now run. <laughs> Bye.